hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video welcome back to probably one of the most difficult videos to film at the beginning of each and every year and now this year makes it a little bit more difficult because we've just come from a crazy lockdown we've just come from COVID-19 um, this video is a little bit different it's going to be different it's gonna hit differently it's really going to hit differently. I've been no. getting a lot of messages about, um, not getting a lot of messages. Let me not lie. Essentially, I get a lot of comments about, you know, um, weight eating, you know, uh, the weight gain during lockdown and all of that. And we're going to talk about that kind of stuff because of course I have been going through lockdown myself as much as you have. And I, I, I want to share my story about where I am right now currently and what I plan on doing if I want to change that this year. If I don't want to change anything, I want to talk to you guys about that today. Um, let's, 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 just, <laughs> let's just get into this video. Let's, let's do it. Now, we are not going to run away from the elephant that is in the room. The elephant in the room is COVID-19 and weight gain during lockdown. Now, I have gained weight. I have. I've gained about a kilo and a half. And I feel like I'm stuck right there. Um, for me, that is not much. But I do know that so many other people have literally gone through the most in terms of weight gain during lockdown and it's understandable but i do also get the fact that you're feeling lethargic and you're feeling uncomfortable now because you've gained weight and you know you're just feeling some type of way you just don't feel like your normal self i get that too so I'm going to talk about that. I'm not a gym fitness fundi or a dietitian or a nutritionist. I mean, we've got Ozzy. Ozzy Boy, you can find her. She's on YouTube. You, we've got Ozzy for that. Uh, but I will share some of the things that I went through and what I plan on doing the beginning of this year, like right now, to try and get myself back in check again. So essentially, weight gain during lockdown is normal. It's standard for us to want to eat when we are stressed. For us to want to eat when we've got nothing else to do when we're sitting and watching tv because we can't leave the house it's one of those things you know i'm not i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one who does multiple uh trips to the fridge each and every day it's just about what you choose to eat in that period the sun in and out of the clouds i'm so sorry but it's just about what you choose to eat within that period that determines your choices determine what the outcome is going to be in terms of weight gain or weight stabilizing or weight loss or weight anything when it comes to uh, food and your body. So for me, I, I've really tried by all means to ensure that the things that I normally did in terms of food and in terms of what I ate, I try to ensure that I keep that up. Uh, during this time because a lot of the time I do know that weight gain wow that's sad though I do know that uh, weight gain during this time is not only frustrating because it's hard for you to try and get it off if you're somebody that goes to the gym and now you can't work out at home because there's multiple people in the house I totally get how complex that can be however I feel like it's all boils down to the choices that you make when you are feeding yourself. Um, it's hard because if you live in a household where there's more than one, two, three, even four people in the house, it's very difficult for you to just say, oh, well, I'm going to eat this or, you know, financially, maybe it just doesn't make sense. The people in the house eat rice and stew and whatever and eat that the next day and then... I get the fact that it's easier said than done in terms of what you eat. However, that is the only way to combat weight gain during lockdown, especially in a time where we are still kind of eh, about the gym. I mean, if you're somebody that can go to the gym in this time, kudos to you. I totally commend you. I, on the other hand, cannot go to the gym. And I refuse to go to the gym in this time. So what I have done, and I have told myself that during, 
January. January is going to be my detox month. During January, I'm going to eat as clean as I possibly can. Try not to, I'm not saying I won't, try not to drink as pos as much as possible. Try not to drink and uh, alcohol, that is. And continue to keep on my water intake of like four liters or so a day. And for me, I feel like that is the way to get my body right. Not to say that my body kind of went left. It really didn't. I'd be lying if I sit, sat here and said it went left. It really, really didn't. Instead, um, I just gained a little bit of uh, because I was eating maybe more carbs, uh, more than I normally do, or I was eating more of this or more of that, something. But it really didn't go all the way left. And I do feel like it's because of my water intake. I always ensure that I take four liters or more of water a day i know how difficult that is but you can use january to be a detox month and if you want somebody who's fantastic at this kind of stuff about you know working out or eating right eating clean you can definitely check out monita kumalo she's got a whole detox thing going on for january she's really really good as well i'm here to tell you that i know the struggle I've been through the struggle and uh, I know that weight gain during lockdown, weight gain during lockdown, if you say it really fast, it kind of, weight gain during lockdown is a huge challenge for a lot of people. Take now, take now, take the beginning of the year as a time where you can set goals for yourself, plan out your meals. So this part of the video, I want to talk to you about setting goals for yourself, planning out your meals, meal prep if you have to. What are you? What are you? <laughs> meals, meal prep if you have to. It is so, so important because that is the kind of stuff that will sh get you away from eating junk food or snacking on crisps, which I'm really craving right now, or snacking on crisps or uh, just eating the bad stuff. If you meal prep and you cook your food and you prep it up nicely and you pu put it in the fridge, this is the kind of stuff that will help. So these are my tips. Let's get into it, okay? One drink water let january be the detox month for you where you drink you pile up on your water intake please do this i cannot stress how much this helps when it comes to maintaining or stabilizing your body and your weight it really really does help uh, even with weight loss as well so if you're used to drinking 500 mils a day, try a liter or even a liter 0.5. If you can start that way, I swear to you guys that this stuff helps, helps. Really try that way, right? Incorporate fruits and veggies into your diet. Now I know we came from a December where we were eating a whole lot of chips and crisps and popcorn and sweets and alcohol and this and that and this. We can mention all of them, right? Where we were just a little bit lenient with ourselves and that's okay. That really is okay. We are in a new year now and if you want to take this seriously for yourself and you want to drop the weight, this is the stuff that will help you. I promise you, this is the stuff that I did. I'm not going to tell you what quantity, what this, what this. I'm not going to give you all those details because I do not know. However, I will tell you what works and what worked for me. Incorporate fruits and veggies into your diet. When I talk about fruits, I'm talking about things like berries. I'm talking about not the sweet fruits like mangoes and grapes. Not that kind of stuff, okay? Unless you're not planning to lose weight like me, I'm not planning to shed any weight, maybe that kilo. But really, um, it's, I'm okay with it. Fruits like berries, uh, kiwis, uh, have some dates even, have some, um, uh, what is that, cherries, have, berries are really good, especially if you want to drop weight. Blueberries, raspberries, mulberries, blackberries, red berries, whatever berries, get those berries and have that. Have that maybe with a bowl of, um, what's this, yogurt in the morning as opposed to having I'm a cornflakes with sugar. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let the berries be your sugar intake for the day, 
okay um also with vegetables very particular about what kind of vegetables you can have if you really want to come down with the weight green vegetables that are high in fiber are really really great your spinach your cabbage your broccoli um your green beans green peas your there's a lot okay you can also still have your carrots you can have your cauliflower you can have your um whatever else vegetables the vegetables that i would suggest that you shy away from um are potatoes <laughs> potatoes just try to shy away from the potatoes i really think that'll help um, um also what else uh that's all i can think about right now so in Three, shut down your portions, okay? I understand on Christmas time we had plates this big of food. We were, we, were, we were having fun. We were being jolly. We were having a good time. Cut down on your portions size, okay? Amazing. I swear again, this will help. Again, yes, it might make you a little bit hungry. For the first couple of days, you'll feel like, ah, ah, ah. Hey, I don't think I ate enough. Hey, what's going on? It will make you a little bit hungry. However, if you stick with it, your stomach will adjust. Your stomach will shrink and you'll get fuller quickly on the smaller portions that you are having. I swear, this is stuff that I learned when I went to my dietitian and nutritionist three years ago. And I still remember this kind of stuff over three years ago. And I still remember this kind of stuff. This is the stuff that helps. It really, really does. So cut down on your portion sizing. Put more greens on your table than you put meat and rice and all of that. It will help. I promise you it will. And I will also do my videos in the meantime showing you what I eat. That will be slightly more helpful as well. It will, will help. The next point is sugar. Sugar. It's easy. Sweetie. Stay away from the sugar, stay away from the cold drinks, stay away from the liquid fruits, the, those kinds of juices. Rather have water and freshly squeezed juice, guys. I swear this kind of stuff really, really helps. It changes the game. Stay away from biscuits and crisps and what else has got sugar? All the things. Cereal, instead of going with sugar, putting sugar on your cereal, put honey. Put a splash of honey. It's better. It's much better than a teaspoon of sugar. I promise you that much. Stay away from the refined sugars. They are not good for you. And if you want to drop with the weight, I hope you are jotting this stuff down because it really does help. And also at the same time, I really encourage you to go and watch Ozzy Boy's channel because she makes good food. She gives you more detail. She studied about the stuff, right? So she gives you more detail than I ever can when it comes to eating clean and eating right and sustaining your body with the right foods and filling up with the right foods. It really, really does help. It really, really does help. Uh, finally, to finish it off, light exercise. Light exercise could entail walking. I can't run. I physically can't run because of my surgery, but I can walk and I can do just a couple of steps a day. If you've got steps in your house, go up and down your steps maybe once or twice a day or walk around in your garden or walk around in your neighborhood if it's safe and if you're with somebody who can protect you, especially if you're a female, hello. Um, but light exercises are great. Even if you just do some jumping jacks, even if you just do some ab crunches, whatever it may take, there are so many plans. Juanita Kumalo probably has so many plans that you can check out that'll help you in this department because I can't. I can't. All I know is that I'm probably going to get my trainer to come here and we can do light exercises so I can move my body in that way. But movement helps. It helps your body from being lethargic. It helps your body from being stiff. I can tell you right now, my body is stiff because I haven't moved in months and I am ready to start off a new year by promising myself that these are the things that I'm going to do. And I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you guys that if you keep to your plan, it will help. I can do a video, which I've done before, but I can do it again, where I show you the kinds of foods that I eat. If you look at the kinds of foods that I eat in my videos, everything is whole wheat. If I'm having pasta, it's whole wheat. If I'm having um, 
uh, rice, it's whole grain rice, it's brown rice. If I'm having, it's those small changes that you can make to your diet that'll be all the difference when you put everything together. I really promise it'll help. I hope this is something. I am not a professional in this regard. I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a gym trainer, I'm not a, uh, a fitness fundi and all of that. I cannot help in this regard, but I can tell you what's worked for me and continues to work for me till today. If I can manage to keep the weight off that I have for three years and still stick around the same place where I'm at and I like where I'm at right now, then something is working based on what I'm eating, you know? Um, lastly, lastly, you might incorporate this if you want to, if you don't want to, that's fine. Also fast, intermittent fasting is brilliant. I will add a video of mine uh, in the description box below. Intermittent fasting is brilliant. Put your body through a fasting period where you can start eating at 10 or 11 in the morning as opposed to eating at 7 at 8 or 8 that, that morning. Um, and then stop eating at a certain time. I have a video. It explains exactly how it's done, the different types of interfasting inter fasting? intermittent fasting methods, and those will help too. I hope this is it. This, that's all I'm going to share with you guys today. I hope this will help. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it together. Let us get into this. Let us work on ourselves. Let us work on being healthier versions of ourselves. And let's start now. All right. If you like this video, please <laughs> comment down below. Uh, share the video to anyone who you think it might help. Uh, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all of that. This is my fourth video, so I can't even talk anymore today. <laughs> um, and yeah, do all of that stuff. If you have any questions, hit me up in my DMs. I respond to my DMs, believe it or not. I really do respond to my DMs. Whatever you want to share your stuff with me, share what you're eating. If you're watching this video, share it, repost it on my Instagram. Let me see it so I can repost it as well for you and all of that stuff. Let us engage. I love it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Good luck. Do it. Do it for yourself and do it for, for you wanting to be a better version of yourself. That's all you need to do it for. Do it for you. You count. You matter. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.